the Solar Concentrator Project came out of technology developed by Doug Wood, uh, who developed smaller, a series of smaller parabolic dishes. And uh, we came up with, he helped us with the 12 foot by 12 foot design that you see here. And we built it here at MIT. Doug transferred the patent to us and we started building this dish and are going to take it forward as a company named Raw Solar. The cool water comes in through a hose. This is just normal water from the building uh, adjacent to us. And we pipe it up into the receiver tube. It goes up the receiver tube and into the copper coil of water. And in there, it's twirled around and around as it's heated because all of the sun's rays converge on that copper coil. And you can't really tell because it's so illuminated, but it's actually painted black. All of that light is transferred into heat, and that goes into the water, steaming it instantly, and it comes back down through the receiver tube and out through the red tube there as steam. The optics that allow all of that sunlight to fall on the receiver are constrained by this frame, which is a parabola in two dimensions, and the jig table that we use forces the holes into the exact right position such that the only way that this can come together with the um, piece of the metal that we put through is the perfect parabola that we're looking for. And then we simply attach the mirrors on top of that and they're naturally bent into, again, a perfect parabola. Each parabola pointed slightly differently uh, you know, as to their position such that we get a whole bunch of strips of light on that receiver. One interesting note is that these are uh, flat pieces of mirror. They're not bent in the height direction. They're obviously bent like this, but they're not bent like this. Uh, that means that rather than producing a point of light, we're producing a bunch of 10-inch strips of light. So right now, even in the time that I've been talking, we've gotten a little bit off sun. Let's see if... There we go. That's better. Okay. So, even a fairly small wiggle is enough to get it back on sun, and you can see that the steam has picked up again. This system is remarkably robust. Uh, we put it together mostly by hand. We even dropped some of the mirrors uh, while we were trying to put them on, and uh, it survived pretty well. And uh, even last night we had a giant thunderstorm and we point this thing directly upward as is custom over the night so that the sun can't possibly bounce off of it and onto the ground. Uh, and so it was a giant lightning rod, but it's survived the night. We're pretty confident it didn't get hit, we would have noticed. But uh, it, uh, it survived a lot in its short life, and we expect it to survive for quite a while longer.